Thank you, Shillong, for your love and support for the past 15 years of our services. We are now upgraded to Blue Square Showroom. Come join the Blue Brotherhood. MLA bala asha suspon hanga Congress ka ba mikhman ya ka East Shillong constituency ka Dr M Amprey Lingdo kala pin pa ko jing snow lingo ba ka Congress jid president mai ha ka constituency claim de kren ne slok bat ki nong krsan ha ki block ne pin tep ya ka na lor ka ta u president u laya ban pin ithu ban ya khon ya ka election a hajar ar pulai kum u krtong ka Congress hendrai kala ong ba ka ne ka jingle kan num pin ken ran din satya ya ka ban ya khon ya ka election na mar ki pat ba ki kwa ba kan ban ya khon ba ya ka election kalo ong ba menta kala pau shai ba ka congress kan no mitho shu ya ki mla ba ki la suspend ban ya khon ya ka election bad ben rap ba ki sangut ki mla ki ne ba ka we ka ken hon ba tang sangut bad rai ba ki num lej sha ka no ka no ka party bad ben rap ba ki la sha ajiet kum ki mla ka congress bad ken pendap ya ka ni ka samoi kum ki mla ka congress ka kong amprin kala pen pauru ya ka jingle ki noi lam ka aicc ki bawan ha shillong hendrai ki khlam persang ban ya kren ya selok bat ki san ngot ki mla kalo ong ba haden ba ki khat ar ngot ki lami ban lej cha ka aitc ki san ngot ki mla badang sa ki la ya selok ha office ka mpcc ban pen bet shanu ba kin lej bat ka ai ka sin jam na mar ki mla sho ban shong ha ka liang persa bat ki khat ar ngot ki bala set ya ka party na mar ki la ban dan sho ki mla ki ban sha khring ban lej cha ka aitc so after covering approximately 80% of my constituency as of today uh i can come to a clear conclusion that my constituents and the residents of my constituency who are voters of this constituency are very keen on seeing me remain in the fray the first question that i asked myself after the congress uh, party has decided to install a new president in my constituency without my consent nor the blocks consent after this president has been going around saying that he is the candidate of the congress the first question that comes to my mind is what is next so i can't decide what is next was the first impression one gets is because the congress doesn't give you a ticket so you're going to stay put at home so that part of the question more or less i have an answer to my people still have faith in me and still want to see me as a candidate in 2023 the next confusion somebody in the congress party says come back somebody in the congress party says don't come back these are all irrelevant matters to the five of us as of today very clearly the congress has no intention whatsoever to accommodate us as candidates in the upcoming general state elections very clear now we have been requested by our respective residents and voters to remain in the fray as candidates the next question that i personally am asking my constituents is what do i do next so right now we are in that stage where we are evaluating which of the political parties shall we go to anyways for the group of five it would be the safest thing to do and that is to remain as a group of five we are not exploring any possibility of announcing our association with any political party we have been elected as congress mla we will complete this term as congress mla 
I read somewhere in the media that a representative of the AICC was in the city of Shillong. However, no one from the AICC has reached out to us. No one has asked us. Because I believe that when the group of five remaining MLAs were ditched by those that went to the TMC, when that situation arose, we had anyways had an in-house discussion in the presence of the in charge in the Congress Bhavan as to what will be our next move. It would be impractical for the five of us to remain in the opposition because we feared a few possible situations. Number one, if we continue to mingle with those that have ditched the Congress, there is a high probability that more MLAs would be poached to that party. We wanted to isolate ourselves as a group of five so that we have a deeper insight after consultations with our constituents as to what to do next. But nobody waited. Now, the first letter that came to us was signed by a general secretary in the MPCC. We are learned MLAs. And as learned MLAs, we too have access to the constitution of the Indian National Congress. And one of the sections in the constitution of the Indian National Congress clearly and categorically states that suspension of elected members to any house need to get done from the high command, from the table, of the Honorable President of the Indian National Congress. So in the first phase, we did not initiate any response to that letter because we knew that that letter was something that was decided locally in the MPCC. Subsequently, in just few days back, maybe 10 to 12 days, we have received the approved suspension from the AICC. Now, the Indian National Congress is a party that is democratic in nature. When there is a CLP of elected MLAs, we expected the AICC to have a consult with us. But when that consultation did not take place despite the fact that a representative from the AICC was in the city, we presume that they have likely decided that they don't want us back. So that is at least clear. Now, as is in the case of all national political parties, no party wants to just throw away their, 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 their party men and women. So it's a very strange situation that we are at in. Three and a half years is a very peculiar period for suspension. We don't know what is the logic behind that three and a half year period of suspension. But we are learned MLAs, we will learn, we will wait, we will further discuss. In fact, we just met a few days ago to decide, since we had heard that a representative of the AICC was coming, we were awaiting for some sort of a discussion, but that didn't happen. So when all of that doesn't happen, we therefore negate or we take away any logic of any one 
office bearer of the AICC saying please come back under this condition, this condition. Now if you as a party is giving us a condition that you leave the MDA and come back, surely a negotiation needs to be set. So that we can also say therefore, will all of the five candidates that you have fielded in these five constituencies give us the assurance that they will not uh, run away from our support or they will not again appear as dummy candidates of some person in the party. So we are leaving it at that. We will decide when will be the right time for the five of us, but I can speak for myself personally. I will only decide once I have covered every door step in my constituency. Because it is my people who will vote me to this office, it is not me. I offer myself as a candidate, but the actual voters and selectors of me as a candidate will be people who support me. So we will wait for that time. There is no hurry. We remain as a group of five and we will continue to work hard in our constituencies as we always have worked hard and nothing else changes other than that. We see in the media, somebody says come back. Within 48 hours of that invitation for us to come back comes another diktat which says under no circumstances you can come back. You start from scratch. So these games and this confusion should be something that all of us should ignore. We are ignoring all of that. And as of today, every five of our constituencies has active candidates who are trying to pin us down after so much water under the bridge out of 10 chances 9.5 we are not going back because we also have our own reputations we also have our own dedication to the people who elects us so that is very clear. Akun, is joining NPP an alternative for you? Like I said in the past, it could be party A, <coughs> party B, party C, party D. For me personally, my people will guide me forward. I will not name all the nomenclatures of parties, but if we feel that we are going to a party which recognizes our potential, which appreciates our connection with the people. If we are going to a party that we feel will take us to a better place, we will go without a second thought. Um, there are also some speculations that Dr. Mukul Sangha, the senior politician, he is probably looking at the idea of going back to Congress. So in case if that happens, then what will be your strategy that time? We are no one to decide on any one individual thinking of anything or any speculation about anything. We are out of that rudder. We have not been informed. We are not in communication. And the media gives us a very confused picture of this whole so-called speculation. We have been booted out very rudely. The party has refused to recognize our commitment to its ideology. We don't want to speculate with the rest. Let those that think of doing these things respond by themselves. We have nothing to say. We were colleagues for so many years, but it is best for us to stay away from speculation because we are saving our own survival firstly.